Hey there, my name is Jake. So I've got a problem and to solve that problem I've got a project and the problem is, is that I need noise. So you see I built this electric drum kit out of an old acoustic drum kit last year and that video is going to be up in the corner here. That drum kit is great because I can plug in headphones into the module and silently practice away which I've been doing for a while so it's really great for silently practicing your drums. The problem is when it comes time to jam with my wife who plays the bass and her brother who's this awesome lead guitarist I've got nothing to put out some noise so I made this. This is a PA system for my electric drums. See I've got these RCA inputs right here, so I can just jack right into this from the drum module directly. The subwoofer and the high compression tweeter put out a whole bunch of noise. Inside of here is a amplifier, uh, which is actually a car amplifier. And that goes all the way back to my very first YouTube video. It's this little power pack amplifier that fit behind the dash of my car. I'll link to that, you can go watch it. There's also a power supply in here so I can plug it right into a wall and not have to use a battery. And then I housed it all in just some really junk scrap wood and my wife gave it this awesome paint job of all of my you know, favorite bands. So now I have a really capable drum PA system. So when it comes time to jam, I can just plug this thing in and put out some serious decibels with the drums. So while I show you this speaker build and while we're on the topic of audio, I want to talk about audio with two eyes. Audio is a music licensing platform that I started using about a year ago. They recently asked me to review their platform and they also gave me an affiliate link that you guys can use for a discount on any of their subscription plans. So to be clear, I paid full price for their service over a year ago, but I will get a small commission if you subscribe to their service with my link. So today, while you watch the speaker build, I'm gonna be reviewing the services provided by Audio. I'll tell you what I like and what I don't like. I'll show you the website and how I use it. So let's get started with a little bit of woodworking. So this track right here, and literally all of my music and sound effects for the past year has been licensed through audio. So these are the new guys on the block in the music licensing platform space for you know, creators, filmmakers, freelance videographers, and YouTubers. They have a huge song and sound effect selection, something like 5,000 songs and 30,000 sound effects already. And they're constantly adding more as they bring on new artists. And their music is so good. Like every single track is a banger. It's gotten to where I'll just listen to their music over like Spotify or YouTube music or the radio because it's just new and fresh and fits everything I wanna listen to when I'm working from home or working out or doing a project. They have music for every genre, mood or energy level you're looking for. So I was talking to Oren at Audio, and he was telling me some of the main things that set them apart from their competition. So they work with some of the top music labels to partner with up and coming musicians, as opposed to other platforms that will pay like bottom dollar to those musicians to represent them. So the guys at Audio really seem to actually care about supporting the creative process, both for the musicians creating the music and the creators using that music. Literally every other platform that licenses music requires a renewable subscription plan. Usually it's billed annually, sometimes it's billed monthly. Audio is, as far as I know, the only platform that has a lifetime subscription plan. That means pay once and you get access to their entire library from now until, I guess, 100 years from now. It's, it's actually a 100 year license. So if I live to be 130, I might have to renew. They also offer a renewable plan. Uh, if you do want to pay yearly, it's a little less than the lifetime plan, obviously, uh, but there is that option if you want it. There is the add-on as well for sound effects. You can pay, again, a one-time fee, get their entire library of sound effects. You can get a lifetime subscription plan for the same price as a lot of their competitors' annual plans. Okay, back to the stereo for a second. So the speakers are in, so I have an idea of where things are going to go. Uh, so let's talk about this amp for a second. Basically, it's as simple as uh, this is your input side So you're gonna plug that in since we're doing bridge configuration we're only gonna use the front end and not the back end the rear end uh, This would go to a car front rear speakers. We're just gonna use front. So I want these coming out of the top right up here So I'm gonna drill some holes 
and then probably use some like oxy putty or something to stick them in there. <laughs> this blue wire here is the uh, remote turn on. So this blue wire basically serves as the on off switch for the amplifier. Since it's connected to a battery, you don't want it to be constantly on draining the battery. So it has this sense wire that in a car would plug into like the power of the antenna if you had one of those or some other like ignition or something that was off when the car was off. And if you're not going to be using a fused connection in your car, you want to actually put a fuse between this and the power source. So yeah, this fuse is going to hook in line uh, with this blue wire uh, up to the power supply. And in addition, we have this other harness that comes out the back end of the amplifier. So these guys run into the speakers, these feed the speakers. And this is power and ground. So this is the yellow one here is constant power that just hooks up to the battery, or in our case, just straight up to the power supply. And then ground is just ground. That's about that. Oh, there is also this, these little switches in the back. You gotta make sure you're in the two channel bridge configuration. Other than that, pretty straightforward. And then the last thing is just gonna be power, getting power from the wall. So there's a spot for 120 volt input into this power supply, but I do want to have a switch to turn this thing on and off. So in line with this black wire, I'm gonna have an on off switch. And that's just gonna go right on the side of the speaker. All right, so we've got the speakers. We've got the power supply and the switch and the RCA inputs all, all those are attached into the cabinet of the speaker. All we have left to do is mount the amplifier and get it plugged in. I'm gonna mount the amplifier to the side of the cabinet vertically uh, using some of this double-sided foam tape and making sort of a bracket out of this aluminum mounting ribbon. Uh, this stuff's actually pretty handy. Okay, so here's Audio's website. I'm gonna run you through it just a little bit. The thing I love about their website is the newest music is always right there on the homepage. When I'm trying to find music for a YouTube video or a client video, I'll always just start with browse. I decide what sort of feeling I'm going for with the video I'm working on. I can filter the options by genre, mood, elements, energy level, vocals or instrumentals, and the duration. So let's say I want a really powerful sounding track with a driving beat to keep the audience engaged. I like to go with cinematic rock most of the time as you can tell by this video and most of my other videos. This gives me a bunch of options I can play through right there. Ooh, Willie Echo, this guy's great. Tiger Run, they're good too. I've used a lot of their songs before. So you can also favorite a song and set it aside for later. And you can also add them to a playlist like I have over here. I've got YouTube and cinematic so far and you can add on as much as you like. When you've got your track picked, you just select download and then pick the license type and the distribution medium. And then you're off to the races. Another cool thing about this site is you can access the PDFs of all of your licensed tracks. That way, if you ever have a copyright claim, you can just attach the PDF right to the claim and you'll be good to go. Sound effects work similarly. You pick the style you're looking for or you can just type it in the search. Let's say I need a punching sound. I'll just type in punch. It'll pull up some options and you can refine it by clicking on the assigned keywords. Then just download and drop it right to your timeline. Okay, so there is one thing that I don't really like about audio. They don't yet offer stems for their music. I personally love the option to isolate certain elements of a song like vocals or drums or instrumentals. It'd be really cool to remove the drum stem from a certain track and then I can practice over that track with my own drum filling. So yeah, those are just some of my thoughts on audio. They're a really great platform who seem to take care of their creators. They have a really great pricing model. They have a ton of songs and sound effects to pick from. All of it is extremely high quality and it's continually growing every week. They add something new and it's really fun to check out what they add on. If you're looking for a music licensing platform, give audio a try. You can use the link in the description below and check out code JACOBALLTRADES10 and that'll give you 10% off. That will give me a small commission as well. So thank you if you do that. Otherwise, 
Let's go see how the speaker turned out. So, here it is. Kind of rough looking, you know? Um, but I think not bad for cheap speakers and an amp I already had, free wood, and like a $20 power supply. Uh, don't have much invested into this speaker at all. Uh, and I think it's gonna put out sound that's equivalent to uh, one of the nice drum PA systems uh, that you can buy out there on the market. So on this particular amplifier, I turned the gain all the way up. So in a bridge configuration, the RMS root mean square output of this amplifier is 90 watts. So that means it'll peak out at like 180, 200. I'm not worried about blowing these speakers out because their rating is much higher than the amp's peak rating. Uh, but yeah, should put out a whole bunch of stuff. Maybe I'll have my wife paint it. That should make it look nicer. But we're gonna do a test here in a second. I hope you enjoyed watching me build this speaker. I had a lot of fun making it. It's sort of a quick, you know, simple project. And I hope you enjoyed my review of audio services. Great music there. Give them a try. I really recommend them. But yeah, thanks.